Hello, my name is John Seal. I've been a docent here at Flying Heritage since it was just Flying Heritage. I've been here for nine years. Well, this is the Pony Carpaw 516, and it doesn't look very warlike. It looks kind of cute and toy like, but in 1934, this was the most advanced fighter plane in the world. A couple of reasons. It has a fully self supporting wing with a big spar through it, a steel spar and a wooden wing. But it was the first aircraft in anybody's Air Force where you could retract the landing gear. And the gear is probably 40% of the drag on the entire airplane. However, the pilot didn't just flip a switch or pull a lever and have the gear retract. You may notice a cable coming out of each wheel hub on the inside. When the pilot goes to take off, he advances the throttle, pulls back on the stick, starts to climb out. Then he has to grab the stick in his left hand and turn a crank 45 times on the side of the cockpit to reel the gear up into the fuselage. You could tell if you had a beginner pilot because the plane tended to porpoise on climb out because it's very hard for a new pilot to remember to hold that stick steady for a, a regular climb rate. Every time you turn the crank, there's a tendency to pull the stick back toward your stomach so the nose rises, then you push it back. It's a, quite a handful of aircraft to fly. It has no trims, it's hot landing. Uh, if you let go of the stick, it's gonna snap into a spin. Aerobatic pilots like it a lot. Regular pilots find it quite a handful.